Hey guys, Juju here, back with a brand new project. What is this project, you may ask? Well, it's a project that breaks all the rules of geometry. It is aimed to blow your mind. It is non-Euclidean geometry. Non-Euclidean is basically Euclidean but non. Euclidean means geometry, so geometry but non. Nice. Let's break it down. To first understand non-Euclidean geometry, we have to understand Euclidean geometry. Euclidean geometry is just your everyday geometry you learn in middle school. I hope I didn't cause some flashbacks for you. Say I have two points. Point A is called Among Us and point B is called Fall Guys. Let's say Among Us wants to beat up Fall Guys. What is the shortest distance Among Us will take to beat up Fall Guys? A straight line between the two. These are just one of the five rules of Euclidean geometry. However, there is a simple way to break these rules since these rules only apply if the points are on a flat plane. What if both our points upgrade to a spherical sphere? Then, it gets complicated. The shortest distance between two points is now a curved line along the sphere. A hyperbolic space like this one makes stuff even weirder and cooler. These are just the basics of non-Euclidean geometry, and I myself am still trying to understand it. This is the whole idea of the project, for our brains that are so trained to make assumptions because of the Euclidean rules of geometry to be yeeted. So, I got started. I first needed to pinpoint what I should make, and the answer was surprisingly simple. Portals. Yay! Portals are an example of non-Euclidean geometry taking place, and after 9 hours of following a 25 minute bracket tutorial and, kudos to you if you get that reference, we have portals. Here's my reaction for when I finally made this work. Hey guys, what's up, did you hear? And this is the first progress report on the new video you're going to be watching. <sighs> so I followed the tutorial, and obviously, well, I made an error. First of all, it's 24 minutes long, and it's also game dev stereotypical to get something wrong while following a step-by-step -step tutorial, like Bracky. So I tried to figure out, and I basically got everything down except one thing. So the bug was that the player would glitch between rooms see it like that see you see that flickering it's something like that it would usually it's happen on the ground but i can't recreate the bugs luckily so that flickering right and the reason why for that flickering is because basically in bracket tutorial uh, we use a dot product and a dot product is basically a product but a dot and um we just needed to rotate this collider plane, uh, both collider planes by negative 90, negative 90 degrees here in the x-axis. And now, everything should work. So, if I just walk through here, boom, boom. I can see really smooth. So, all I needed to do was rotate this negative 90 degrees. I had to press dash not 9, 0 in this field and then my bug would be fixed guess how many hours it took me one no two no three no around three and a half hours to find this one bug i started this project at about nine i'd say nine a.m or nine fifteen a.m right now it is six fifteen p.m that's nine hours it took me nine hours. Well, I guess if you dis if you exclude one hour of me just setting things up, it took me eight hours to follow a 22, 24, 25 minute tutorial. It took me one third of a day to follow a 25 minute tutorial, and you do not know what that does to a human being. I almost feel as tired as when I do when I'm in school, basically. Nothing beats tiredness of school, but we finally did it. Oh my gosh, nine hours. Nine hours. I really hope this project is gonna be worth it, bro. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye. Next, I experimented around with these portals, trying to make a non Euclidean experience for the player. Basically, here's the gist of it short boy or long boy? I did this by adding a portal right at the entrance and exit of the hallway. When you walk through it, it will teleport you to an entirely different corridor to make it seem like the seemingly short corridor is actually pretty long. Then, right as you're about to leave, you get teleported through the original hallway to make it seem like you just came out of that. Cool! 
I use the same technique for the other two non-Euclidean experiences shown here. Up boy or down boy? Like the previous one, you get teleported to a completely different space before returning. This one was a bit hard to make since the two extra cameras I use go through the floor when you go down, and you can kind of see that something is going on by the changing colors of the render plane and the not so seamless portal transitions. I tried my best. Finally, you have around the pillar. I think the best way to show this illusion is by a narrative. Hey Kiwi, where's the bathroom? Three times around the pillar. What? Like, do I go around- Did I stutter? Oh, okay, chill bro. One. Two. Three. Bro, how does that work? So yeah, non-Euclidean spaces are cool. Now this project was interesting because I just wanted to try something new and give myself a bit of a break from my other project, Dual Robots, which you can check out the demo here. When I made seamless transitions between two spaces with portals though, I saw the endless opportunities this mechanic can hold. I'm not the first one to do this as well. In fact, the rooms I created here were all from a video by Code Parade, and I wanted to see if I could make them myself. This could turn into a big game, who knows? Right now, I'm just messing around and having fun with it, and that's what's most important. Well, that's it for this video. Like the content? Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more of this type of content. That's it for now. See you guys. Bye.